Bye, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina, and we're gonna be doing a huge Dollar Tree haul. I'm huge. So grab a drink, get yourself situated. I'm going to try really hard to not make this be like an epic mega haul, but I would like to be able to start using some of these awesome things I have found, and I can't do that until I haul them, and I'm way, way behind. So let me just go right into it. I hope everyone's having a great day, and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video. I'm sure you're not gonna be seeing them here first, but like I like to say a lot of the time, you'll probably be seeing them here last. So I did finally find these in every single color, and I picked them up. And what they are is the five pack desk organizing set and they interlock. <clears throat> I know a lot of places didn't get these, but they're really cool to configure because they're interlocking. You see, they have the little groove and you slide them into each other. Um, you can even configure them into like, you know, maybe like a wall space and put little things in them for kids to put their like little Lego figures into. There's a lot of things you could do with these other than just using these to organize a desk or a drawer because they are actually not very sloped. Kids could put like mini figures in here or, you know, just little things on their wall. And with all these colors, they would be fun. I like, I like to do things like that. And I like to give people the idea of doing things like that. Um, they come in hot pink, super cute color, this classic navy blue. I love the orange or sherbet and the bright yellow. And they're, I think, a pretty great deal for a dollar. Five pieces, yes, super cute for a kid's room. Or if it's suitable for any one of your organizational projects, definitely hunt these out and snap them up. I didn't find them at first, but then when I found them, I was like, oh yeah, let me get one in every color, <laughs> just in case. I did pick up by the brand name Nature Valley. Everyone knows them. They make granola bars. So, of course, their granola, coconut, and almond cereal is going to be delish. But I just love putting this stuff in yogurt. It makes it so more satisfying. And this one has real almonds, sweetened toasted coconut. And it says now with more almonds. We don't know what they started with, but at least there is more of it. There are 11 ounces in this bag, and it's good until October of 2021, October 17th to be exact. So, I mean, you know, you could always keep them a little longer than the shelf life says, but they don't have a super far off expiry date. So don't go crazy on these, but these are definitely good to stack up with a little bit and make some yummy almond coconut yogurt parfaits with vanilla yogurt even. Delicious. I love love yogurt parfaits and I honestly love granola and then another fun food find fun food find was the buttermilk complete pancake mix it makes 40 pancakes this is a big box it is um 28 ounce one pound and 12 ounce I think that the Dollar Tree's box is usually one pound so this is almost double guys it's four ounces shy of double what you get for the no name brand and this is Betty Crocker in order to make these pancakes you just need water no milk no eggs no nothing so that is a really great deal and these taste a lot better than the Dollar Tree ones I can tell you that right now I actually have bought the Dollar Tree ones in the past and I don't buy them anymore because those pancakes do not taste delicious they just don't if you guys use them and you have some way of zhuzhing it up and making them taste more like pancakes, let me know. But I'm really excited to find Betty Crocker pancakes because I love making pancakes every couple of months. Not all the time, but every couple of months, it's nice to make some pancakes and have like a brunch and then not really cook dinner. That's like my favorite thing to do. So um, yeah, I picked up that and I'm excited about it. So I'm not gonna go on and on about how cool I think these are, but I, do actually think that they are very cool. I picked up the one that says hello fall with the pumpkins practically rolling out of the back of the truck because I just think it's so darn cute. And I like to pick up those square pieces that the Dollar Tree sells for a dollar each. 
I think they're like pet mats. I don't know. They're, I always call them carpet remnants and I've always called them carpet slices, but I noticed the other day that they have like a pet logo on the back. Well, I always try to find ones that go along with whatever mat I put on top of them. Like maybe I'll look to see if I can find two orange slices ones or not slices, rug slice. You, know, you guys know what I'm talking about, remnants. Um, last year I found these amazing like burgundy colored ones that had like orange speckles in them. And I put this on top of it. So I put the two side by side and I put this one on top of it and I laid it at my front door and it made like a bigger mat. It was really substantial and it kept this from blowing away because this has like a little bit of like some kind of glue on the back of it. And actually when it gets wet, I feel like it's literally like dried up glue. <laughs> That's what I think it is. When it gets wet, and you put it on top of another mat, it gets stickier. So it kind of sticks to it after it dries up. And that worked out beautifully. It did not blow away. And you guys know, like this is very thin. It's really sheer. It's just a buck, you guys. So it's not like a real, real mat, but I actually used it outside and it didn't float away, which is a miracle. I mean, I don't have it anymore because I, I, I threw it away. Winter happened and I, I don't even know what happened to them. And I had a lot and I gave them out at the shelter. And I also picked up the Hey There Pumpkin because I think I might put this on the inside of my backyard door because my dog, Max, tends to lay on that. So he'll probably lay on this one. And so it'll be like a back door mat and it'll come in handy. And then I love this one. This is my absolute favorite one. I will probably put this on the inside of my front door and the truck one can go on the outside of my front door. I love the one that says gather here. I really, really do because you guys know wreaths with words in the middle, I'm sold. And it's so funny because my buddy Pamela was like, I don't like that one that much. And I was like, that's my favorite. But I always notice this, that the letters are like, like I wrote them by hand. Do you guys see how like the letters are not cohesive I don't know it's weird I wonder if they did it on purpose or I always they're not aligned it drives me crazy it was like that last year too but these are probably the exact same ones from last year and they're back again and I'm fine with that I'm perfectly fine with it it would have been nice if we saw them make some that had like some blue pumpkins or some teal pumpkins or a teal truck but you know it's the Dollar Tree. We got to deal with the fact that they have to sell those out before they invent something new. And then speaking of blue pumpkins and blue anything, look at these. When I hear this sound in the Dollar Tree, hold on, hold on. This is the, no, it's like the gong show. Like when I hear that, I get happy. Like I just am like, oh yes, these are metal. Uh, it might annoy some people, but to me, it's really a joyous thing. And I just think that they're so, so cute. I know that you could like um, probably put things like hanging off of them and attach pumpkins, maybe even make like a wind chime kind of thing, but I'm just gonna probably use these just like this and put them on my shutters outside. I think they're really, really darling. I love, I love, love, love them. Happy fall, y'all, and farm fresh pumpkins. like who could ask for anything more? Like you just cannot ask for more than that. They're wonderful. I really, really love them. And they're little wheelbarrows. They're so, so nice. They do have some glitter on them. I like that. I don't know. Other people really didn't see like they have like some sparkle to them. I like that too. I like everything about them. I picked up some of these um, Buffalo check red and black masks. They're pleated. They look to be pretty good quality and they do have a little pocket on the inside for the filter. We're gonna take a better look at them. These are not a Dollar Tree product. They're by a brand called Capelli. And in New York, they actually have reinstated and mandate for masks. Indoor. I'm vaccinated, but that doesn't mean anything anymore. So I'm just trying to do what's best for my family and I've started to wear masks when it's tolerable, some of the stores refuse to run air conditioning in the high, high heat of the summer because they think it's like, I don't know, they claim that their air conditioning is working, but I think it's because of COVID. It does have a lot of room, which I think is cool. And it does have the filter pocket, which is great. 
So let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, this is a really good mask. I like it when it has so much space that it doesn't even touch my lips. The possibility of it not messing up my lipstick is super high and that's important to me. So that was a great buy for a dollar for sure. I love it. They're also 100% cotton and I think that that's really, really important because it's breathable. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I just, I'm, I hope they bring more like that because I actually did get rid of a lot of my masks and I just had a few and I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot of them through the winter. I did pick up one of these. Um, I actually had ordered a whole case of these and I've already dropped it off and I forgot to keep some for myself. And um, then I went to the store and I saw a blue one, the blue one, which I love, and the red one. And my aunt really wanted the blue one, so I sent her the blue one. But I kept the red one, but I really want the blue one, so I'm on the hunt for the blue one. But these are kind of amazing. I'll put a picture of the blue one up here just in case you guys haven't seen it, but I'm sure you have. But I love the blue one more, but my aunt deserves whatever she chooses. I like the red one too. I would have liked them both. Like I said, I bought a whole case for the shelter and then I totally space cadetted out and forgot to keep a couple for me and for gifts. I was even gonna do a giveaway with them in case people couldn't find them, but I gave them to the shelter. So I did do a video recently where I talked to you guys about the dollartree.com website. During the holidays, I find myself scouring that website for things that are easier to buy online. Like I bought cases of backpacks. I'm gonna do a backpack event here since I'm still here in New York and schools open in September. Um, I bought a case of Buddhas. I bought a case of these cute metal signs because they're great for people to put up in the shelters or to put in the food bags. Like they could just include one of this in the bag that they put the turkey and all the fixings in. And the family goes home and they unexpectedly have this cute little metal sign that they can keep forever. And oh, I could cry, but sometimes, <laughs> and I'm gonna cry, I don't know what's wrong with me. Sometimes, you know, you'll keep this and it will remind you how far you've come because a lot of these women, they're not having a great holiday year this year. But when they look back and they unpack their things and they're like, I remember when I was in the shelter, I'm safe now. See, I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I had the meltdown. I don't know what that was about. But um, the whole point is that I ordered these signs and I got a case of them. I ordered a bunch of different things by the case. I ordered those see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil little skeletons by the case. They're on back order. You might as well just kiss those goodbye. I already know Dollar Tree is taking my money. I'll get it back like three months from now if I'm lucky. But when you do get lucky enough to get something that you've ordered, if you do call them and harass them, they will process it quicker, but I'm really bad about that. Eventually they give you your money back and I do run after them eventually, but after the holidays are over. Um, but when you're lucky enough that your back order turns into an order and it doesn't turn into a back order, like I placed an order for um, the Dollar Tree bootleg cricket stuff and I got lucky out of the three orders for cases I placed, two of them happened and one of them got back ordered and then canceled. So I did get a case of the glittery paper, it comes in like rose gold, silver gold and black glitter. So cool for the holidays and removable vinyl and I did get a bunch of stuff that my aunt sent me and I'm going to be announcing a 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, it was supposed to be a 3,500 subscriber giveaway but I've just decided to keep doing um, little pop-up giveaways to make up for it because I ended up getting there really quickly and it snuck up on me. So it's going to be a crafters 4,000 subscriber giveaway, but I'm going to announce that giveaway soon. I'm going to show you guys everything in it. And if something seems really cool, I'll be adding it to the giveaway and I'll let you guys sign up for that giveaway as we go forward. But I haven't announced that yet. So keep your eyes peeped for that video. That's going to be a good one. I also picked up this beautiful metal steak that I legitimately think is gorgeous. I like to pop these off of the metal steaks. They do have this like little flap 
and then you can like make them into tabletop decor. You could do, you, this is really easy to get. I'm not going to break it off right now because maybe I, I don't think I'm, I'm probably going to be using this indoors or sticking it to like a photo frame and maybe putting, you can do a lot of things with this. You could just take this right off of here, put like really cute fall paper in a picture frame and just put this on the picture frame and you're done. You have like cute metal decor for two bucks or three bucks around that. I mean, the paper costs something. This yard stake I also picked up. Actually, all of the yard stakes that I'm showing you guys, I picked up one for me and one for my Aunt Marina because she is like an avid gardener and honestly, she loves yard stakes. When we were in the DT together, she was like, they don't have any yard stakes, I'm so upset. And I was like, oh, I'll find you some. But this one, I think that this one is so cute. If you just cut it and like put it in a frame, just like that, isn't it so cute? Like with the little stick, but just cut it with metal wires. It looks so rustic. There's nothing wrong with this. It is like perfect. I know people paint them and they do. I am not one of those like paint it kind of people. If I can leave it as it was born, that makes me happy. And I just think that this one is so perfect. There's like, it is perfect. Everything about it is perfect. I could see it like glued on to like a black and white gingham or buffalo check fabric or paper in a picture frame, just like that, cut just like that, put it up at the very bottom. And it's just so cute. The little stem is actually cute. The little leaves are actually cute. Everything about this is actually cute. I really like it so, so much. I love metal stuff at the Dollar Tree. Like I said, that sound makes me happy. My aunt is an avid gardener. And so she actually, her son actually did used to run a farm, uh, like a organic new age, cool farm in Connecticut. And so welcome to our farm has like a whole new meaning. He's actually given that farm up now and he's um, living close to my aunt and they have their own cute little vegetable garden that he helps her do. And I just think that they're gonna both appreciate this cute little garden steak that says, welcome to our farm, but it has a tractor. I didn't get myself one of these. This is the only one I did not get myself one of because I don't really need that one. I don't have a farm. We have like three buckets and so far we haven't actually, we, we haven't, we have not been able to pick any fruit or vegetables off of our crop, but that may change. The weather's been really hokey in New York. Then I do have this, this Hello Pumpkin. This is a substantial sized metal stake. You can again, pop this off of here, put a couple of Jenga blocks behind it and stand it up at your table or do whatever you want with it. Put it into your um, big deco mesh, fall happy wall decor. I know a lot of people pop these off of the metal stake and make one of those crazy deco mesh. I cannot stand deco mesh. I tried it, it's not for me, but some of the wreaths that people make with deco mesh are phenomenal. And this Hello Pumpkin would be so cute right in the center or at the bottom or wherever you put your pumpkin in your wreath. It would be really cute. It's just really, really well done. And it's, it's big. It's a really big pumpkin. It's really nice. Then I have to admit, I love the little springy part too. That makes, that's what sells me on this. It makes it really special. This one says happy harvest. I know my aunt's going to love that too. And it has the little wheelbarrow as well. I love it. It's so cute. I bought it last year. I will buy those every year, every, every year. And of course, oh, I have two of everything. I showed you guys the truck already. So I picked, those are the ones I picked up. I don't think there is anything that I didn't pick up. Um, yeah, I don't think so. These were at the checkout counter when I was paying for my stuff. And I don't know, sweet tarts, mini chewy. I don't even know what they are. Um, I love sweet tarts, but mini chewy. We're going to take a look at these. Have you guys ever had these? Okay. See, this is what threw me. The color on the bag makes you think that they're like a hard candy, but they are actually like sweet tarts.
They're like a tart starburst. No. Not a starburst. I'll try an orange one. Oh, they have some kick. No, they're like, um, I just broke my fast on those sweet tarts. Um, so it was more potent. It's been 16 hours since I've had anything to eat or drink. Um, Those taste like Skittle, like sour Skittles. That's what they taste like. Yeah. They're kind of like Skittles, but a different shape. I picked up more of these. These are phenomenal. I am moving, so I've been condensing a lot of stuff. And I've been picking these up everywhere I see them because they do really work. They come in extra large and large. I do have some extra large ones stowed away, but I the large ones are just as good or like it's an accurate depiction. You can put like two coats in here and squish it down. And you don't really need a vacuum cleaner. You could just press the air out with your hands or sit on it or stick it under your mattress and your box spring for the night. And then when you take it out, you just seal it up and you're good to go. That's what I do. I don't even like squish the air out myself. I just let my mattress do it. So it works out really well for me. Um, but yeah, don't, don't consider these like sub to par. These are really, really good. I found these you guys and I don't remember if they had these last year but these could possibly be the prettiest things I've ever seen I love the idea of putting like bright velvet fabric behind them putting them in frames and then blinging them out like putting roses gluing roses to this one like different colored ones and jewels on the boy version like the face or maybe the eyes. I don't know, but I really love them. I just think that they're gorgeous and they're made of wood, really thin laser cut wood. They're phenomenal, unbelievable buy. So nice, so, so nice, so delicate. If you even for one second think about putting these, just tossing them in your trunk, just throw your money right in the garbage because these have to be handled with kit gloves. They break so easy. They're really thin, and because of all the intricate little cuttings, they, they just snap in half. So I actually have been really careful with them, and they've made it so far. And on my way home, they're staying right on the dashboard. But I love them. Aren't they uh, just shocking? Like, this would not be a dollar at Michael's. It would not be a dollar at Hobby Lobby. It would not be a... Just it wouldn't. It just would not be. This is such an amazing deal for one buck. And there are so many cool DIY possibilities or just, just like that. I could see someone just hanging them just like this and them still being cool in the right kind of like country DIY world. Maybe put just a bow on them. I don't know. They're really, really awesome. I did pick up these telescoping butterfly nets. They're actually made of aluminum. This is a phenomenal deal. I always buy the ones with the bamboo poles and they break. These are great for cleaning out my pool. <laughs> cleaning out my pool. I've told you guys a million times. I have mentioned it on my channel a million times and I'll mention it again. I hate busting out that long pole, but this is perfect for when I'm inside the pool. I can get all of the debris out without putting my head underwater, obviously. And getting soaked. Sometimes it's cold, but I jump in there to clean the pool out anyway. I already have the red one in use. It even has like little, look, it has like a little grip. This is great. I mean, I, these are a phenomenal deal. And if you're doing lake fishing or anything like that, it's good for that too, to like help you scoop in the fish so you don't get the hook in you. Um, they're not like super, you know, sturdy, but if you're just going fishing with the kids, they could scoop the fish in when it's on the hook uh, with this instead of the big one. These could be very useful. So, you know, there's a lot of things you could do with these butterfly nets other than catching cute little butterflies because I don't like to do that with them ever. But I just think that these are really a great, great little deal for a dollar. Super great. Okay, so the next item that I picked up, I just got it open off camera because I have a tendency of popping off all of my fingernails when I'm trying to open something like this. And um, 
I do love this gum. It's Velamint, but it's not candy. It's peppermint flavored gum. And it's really cute, actually. And look at how cute it is. Such a cute gum. And then... It's very pepperminty. It tastes so retro. Mm-hmm. This is such a, like... It brings me back to, like, a vintage peppermint flavored gum vibe I don't know but these velaments took me down a, a trip down memory lane I really love them but the packaging is phenomenal you can buy these eat them up glue some like pretty paper to the bottom spray paint the whole rest of it bling it out or fabric to the bottom and make it like a little jewelry box or like because the inside has no you know information on it a pill container. This is so cute. The packaging is hinged. It's, it's hinged. How cute is that? I love it. Love these. I'm going to bling these out. I did find some more of these USB cables and I picked them up because they're a brand name called Duracell, which is obviously everyone knows it's a good brand name. I have like an old Galaxy tablet. It's not that old, but it's USB. And I was thinking of using it to record videos when I'm doing lives. That way I could see better because there was a little snafu when I was calling a winner the other day. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing it on a tablet. I won't do it on my phone again, but I picked up some of these because I, I can never find USB cables anymore when I'm looking for them. And all the ones that I had, because I used to have a phone that had USB cable charging, but since that's history, so are the cables. I have no idea what happened to them. And that's what I picked those. I was really happy actually when I found those because I kept telling myself, oh, you have to find USB cables. You have to find USB cables. But I won't buy the Dollar Tree ones. The Dollar Tree ones don't work. So I recently did a giveaway in my previous haul, the one, the haul right before this one. And it's called Socket To Me. And um, it included a pair of these absolutely intense gold toe fuzzy socks and those are the only ones that I had found but then Pamela found some more I have found a lot of really awesome gold toe socks and I've bought them for the shelter but I did not find any of these fuzzy ones myself other than the pair in the giveaway and um, she found me some of these so I'm so excited to share these two because they come in this color as well they also come in a, like a striped a striped like gray white and teal set but I didn't find those and these socks are the, the most comfortable socks ever. They're gold toe chenille socks. These are going to be my bedtime foot moisturizing socks. So I just love this kind of sock so much. I'm so happy to have these. I do love these giant glue sticks. They're my favorite kind of glue stick. And I picked up this trusted brand name Avery one. I think that that's a great deal. It's a 1.27 ounce washable glue stick but it's perfect for what I use glue sticks for and I like I said I really like the fat ones better than the skinny ones I know that there are like great deals on the thin ones you can get like 8 10 14 but I'm very happy with this brand name they don't dry out and whenever I see Avery I pick it up I did pick up several of these clip clicks ballpoint pens because these cool retractable pens come in these ink colors I I did pick up a case of these and kids are gonna love these uh, this one is crushed so I'm gonna share with you guys what is in here um, they're not that easy to find but it just so happens that one of the stores that I went to had a few cases so I was able to buy a case and I'm stocking these away for the shelter because this is a brand name toy certain kids love to pick little little mini things like this they love things like this and I love getting them for a dollar. So let's see what's in here. Because this is an actual Hasbro item uh, marketed under the name of Transformers. It's authentic Transformers. It's not like a Greenbrier item that they license. It's a real toy. So see Hasbro and Transformers bot bots. I just think that that's so cool. And they are supposed to be... Um, there's they're for 2020 series five and 
I, re I really don't know what's in here. I have no idea, but they transform, I'm assuming, into something. I don't even know how to open it, actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, silly. There, It's not like an egg. I don't know what I was... Oh, wow. Okay. Wait a minute. No. No. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. See, when I first saw that, I thought that you get, like, pieces. Oh, duh. You do. You do. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. So... This is obviously like the foot to a whole robot. And what you have to do is collect every single piece in order to build one item. Uh, this sparkling gold leg is actually very rare. So I hate that I opened it because some kid would have been really happy to probably get it. Because when you get all of these... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 gold pieces. You actually build a bot bot robot. So that is kind of exciting. Um, but normally you don't get this piece that doesn't look like anything. I always end up unboxing like the lamo lamest pieces. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, it's actually really cute. Wait a minute, they're posable. Look at that. You guys, that is actually so cute. The arms come out. Do you see that? And the head turns. And it's completely posable. In more... Wow, these are kind of... What? And the head lifts up. What? Oh, wow. What? These are cool, actually. Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was really not realizing how cool they are. Now I get it why people are going crazy over these and why they're so hard to find. I think that they're selling. I think people must be buying them. People must collect these for real because they're totally posable. These are awesome. They actually are like transformers. And then do you see the little head? Like, look, wait. Yes. Okay. Very cute. A little kid is going to love that. I could see a little kid playing forever with these. Kids love these tiny little toys. They'll be like, wah, 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 and they'll be like, choo, 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 choo. I could just see it. I could see it. They'll be having like little laser beam pretend wars. But this is actually very cool. And then the piece, it goes in and then snaps in. And everything snaps into becoming, if you collect all of them, the foot of the robot. See that? That is cool. But you can collect all these other little things that are like so small that I can barely see them to be quite honest with you. But they look like pets and snacks and all kinds of things. It's really out of focus. But these are so cool. If you want to know more about them, they're called Bot Bots Transformers Gold Rush Games because they do come in the gold. Each and every one of the gold pieces transforms into an individual robot. That is so cool. These are very cool. Very, very cool. I picked the little initial pumpkins up for my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, John and Kathleen. And I always go through this conundrum in the store, whether this is a P or a J or a G and the people and the, or a T and people in the store are like, Oh, they make it that way so it could be all of them. But last year I decided that was a J, so I'm going to stick with it. So it's a J and a K, and it's for Kathleen and John. And uh, I do like these colors. I picked up several of these Sheer Envy Blurring Primer because these are insanely good. This blurring primer really does, it has something in it that just makes photographs make your skin almost like a filter and the packaging is just different it's the same as that prismatic looking packaging you see where it says new look it's the exact same item as the one that had the pump the thing is that the one that had the little pump on the bottom that one seemed to like damage really easily so I think hard candy changed the packaging on it but it's the exact same blurring primer and it works exactly the same. I picked up several of these and I love, 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 highly, highly, highly recommend this product. You will not be disappointed. Um, 
My friend out there, Lisa, your de-stashing box is going to contain one of these blurring primers in it because I want you to try it. I think this will definitely make your day. Trust me. Since I discovered putt primer, um, I have like a whole new outlook on life. So I have an assortment of favorite primers and this is in the list. This Glamouflage full size, 16 hour full coverage foundation, I picked up for a friend. Carol, she has been so patient. She wanted this and I bought it and I couldn't find it. And then I found it again. And so it's coming to her. It's one of the best foundations I've ever used. I really like it actually. And I cannot believe that you get this huge, huge bottle for a dollar. It's a glass bottle. It's 0.67 fluid ounces. So it's not a full ounce, but it's a really good size. And it does have like the dipper stick in there. I'm not going to open this one because like I said, this is a sealed bottle for Carol. But when you open it, it's almost like a nail polish you know, like how the nail polish is, but it's a little sponge and it's just a, actually really, it's really convenient. I really, really think that this is a well thought out product. I've even put my makeup on in the car using this. So it's actually pretty great for a buck. Unbelievable deal. Check out this amazing Amscan product. I was thrilled when I found it. I feel like the Amscan products have dwindled into nothingness, but I grabbed this up and will use it when I get a chance to. It's a three-piece, humongous, like, tablescape piece. Let me show you guys what that looks like because I just, and it also has a pack of table scatter. So you get three pieces of, for the table and this little bonus pack of table scatter. But that is just so cute in and of itself. And then for a buck, you get this giant centerpiece that you attach the tinsel, like, all around. See how it is in the picture? with the tinsel and then you get the two little ones I think that's really cute if you're having like a little summer luau you can actually put this in the very center of like a fruit bowl and put like some tissue or aluminum foil at the base and then put all the fruit around it and put the tinsel around the bowl which is how I'm gonna do it because I love making fruit bowls for like dinner parties and I would like to believe that soon I'll be able to do it, but more than likely I will save this um, until I have moved and I will use it in my future home because I missed the boat on summer this year. We hardly ever got to entertain. My husband has been sick almost the whole entire summer, but he did have his procedure. My camera got moved. He did have his procedure and you know we're hoping that better days are coming soon and I truly believe that they are. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that he is definitely the right fit for this um, piece of technology that they implanted in his spine. He's currently going through the trial process. He, he came out elated, happy. He didn't feel that horrible stabbing pain in his legs and in his lower spine. Then he was having actual incisional pain for like a few days, for two days. And now, um, you know, it's actually day two or three, I've lost track, but um, he's starting to like say that it's not as bad all the time and that the pain that he suffered from for the last year is gone. It's just, it feels like a light massaging sensation. So if anybody out there suffers from severe back pain and has to choose between living a life, taking narcotics, not being able to drive or do things like that, or possibly having this spinal stimulator put in so far so good um you know we can keep you guys posted but it turned out that there are a few people that are on my youtube page that actually do suffer from really bad back injuries and i did post like a little thing about the boston scientific spinal stimulator because it's not like something that's rel like it's relatively new technology and so i wanted to let people know that there is hope. You don't have to take narcotics and build up a tolerance and it doesn't really work. It doesn't take the pain away. This equipment literally changes how our brains process neuropathic pain. It's kind of a miracle and science is amazing, but I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on, you know, what's happening in my life. And I want to share these gorgeous pumpkins with you guys. Of course, 
I got them in every kind of teal known to mankind. And they do come in two blues. Um, but the, but okay, so first of all, can we just talk about their little stem? And here is something that I would like to do. I would like to glue this down. You could glue that down and then you could literally make a garland out of these. Just string them up across in lots of colors. They're so gorgeous. I mean, they are gorgeous. They come in this beautiful royal blue velvet, teal velvet, gray, like pearly, white, just silver, gorgeous, gold. And I love the little gold stem. I'm sure you guys are recognizing that I have a lot of pumpkins here. I did schlep during the summer a cornucopia. Bat, do you know, guys, you guys know what that is. I have a purple one and a army green one. I just love all of these colors. I wish I could just wear these pumpkins. Like I just want to make like jewelry out of these pumpkins or just become a giant. So this could be like a bracelet. I don't know, but I love, absolutely love them all. So I couldn't, I tried to stop buying <laughs> false. I was like, I'm not going to buy any false stuff. I want to move. And then this is what happens when I abstain from going to the Dollar Tree. And I have more than this. I just, this is all I can hold right now. I did buy, did buy several of them. I, I did. I, I bought like every teal one that was in the box because teal's my favorite. I did pick up this gorgeous white pumpkin as well. I do have a bunch of ceramic pumpkins from last year, but this one has like speckling in it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like crackle paint. It's so beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. But I did buy a heck of a lot of these super pretty velvet pumpkins because I got this giant cornucopia and I wanna stuff it with pumpkins and then just have like some spilling out onto my buffet area. This is gonna be my like look for the winter, for the, for the fall. It's gonna be the cornucopia and then those blue um, leaf things that I bought with the pumpkin sticking out and the velvet. Maybe those blue things won't go. Yeah, they're not gonna go. So basically my aesthetic is gonna be velvet colored pumpkins. That's as far as it's going this year. The rest of it, I don't know what I'm doing, but I am obsessed with filling that cornucopia with pumpkins. So we'll see how that turns out. It was only like a few dollars at a garage sale. Best buy I've ever made. I was. And I remember um, my son was like, mom, what are you doing with that? I was like, what? I've always wanted a cornucopia. Are you kidding me? I'm so excited because <laughs> I have. I've always wanted a cornucopia. Can't wait to use it. Can't wait. Okay. Can we talk about the signs? Just let's just talk about this year's signs. This sign makes me beyond thrilled. I absolutely love it. I just love it. It's simple. It has a purpose. It has really cute fall decor and it's kind of thicker than they usually are. I really, really love this sign. It reminds me of the Halloween one that had like all of the poison bottles, which I also loved, loved that. So I definitely picked this up and I, I think it's, it's like fatter. I don't know. It's better than they usually are. Maybe I'm crazy, but let me know if you guys kind of feel like it's just a tinge fatter than the old ones. And this, this one is going right in the coffee bar. I'm transforming the coffee bar from teal to orange and teal. So it could be like fall friendly for pumpkin spice coffee in the morning. And this sign says every year I fall for pumpkins, bonfires, s'mores, which I'm not going to front. S'mores are my thing. I love marshmallow. <laughs> I am obsessed with marshmallow. Marshmallow is not good for you. There is no nutritional value to it. There is absolutely nothing good about it other than that it's delicious. And I do love s'mores. I do, I love them. Um, that's why I went crazy when the Dollar Tree got those chocolate filled marshmallows. They make s'mores even easier and more just delicious. And I do love making s'mores in my air fryer. Have you guys ever tried that? Oh yeah, it's like a thing. So autumn leaves, apples, and you. Every year I fall for pumpkins, bonfires, s'mores, autumn leaves, apples, and you. I mean, there's nothing more you need 
if you have like a coffee bar, just put this up against your little coffee bar and set some cute fall stuff around it, like your pumpkin spice coffee in a pretty jar. And I'm gonna like make my coffee bar into fall-ish and then I'll share it with you guys. I mean, I'm not like a Pinterest mom, I'm not. But I do like to zhuzh everything seasonally. So I'm gonna kick that into fall mode with some pumpkin spice and a little upcycle out of a shocker. I, I think I'll share it with you guys. Let me know if you guys wanna see how I'm going to um, upcycle my coffee bar with one of this year's pumpkins turning into a big shocking lid for something. You wouldn't think so, but I thought it would be, be a cool lid and I think it is. So anyway, that's all I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna update my coffee bar. You guys, the Dollar Trees by me have been dripping with makeup so crazy that it's not even like possible sometimes to record them because they're just such a big fat mess of buckets of makeup that you have to dig into. And I wanted to let you guys know that in my last walkthrough video, my very last video, if you go to my video series, you'll see that my very last walkthrough has um, a walkthrough. And then at the end of it, I swatched a lot of makeup that's out at the Dollar Tree right now. Really great, really great makeup finds. Some not so great. One of them was a mega dud. Uh, Dollar Tree actually has for sale right now by Hard Candy lipstick. Uh, called Gleaming that also has a little bottle of tooth whitening serum on the bottom and the lipstick that actually is on top of it is beautiful but the actual tooth whitening serum is in a brittle brittle egg shape egg, like eggshell it's practically so brittle that it's literally like an eggshell and it doesn't even make it home um I don't know maybe it's been like uh I don't know, maybe it's been exposed to lots of elemental weather changes, but this is actually, this is the lipstick. It's a beautiful lipstick and I found a few of them, but the bottle, see here's the tooth whitening brush. It just disintegrates in your hands and it's such a shame because it's a really pretty lipstick. So I just wanted to share with you guys that this lipstick is out there and it is a very retro orangey red really pretty pretty color but it's connected to this slimy nightmare tooth whitening nightmare and there's so much more stuff that I swatched in that last video you guys have to keep your eyes peeled um, and check out that last video but I did find Ioni and normally I don't buy a lot of lashes because I do not do fake eyelashes if I do do them I go and I have them put them in but the packaging of Ioni is amazing, and my friend Pamela swatched almost every single item that the Ioni line came up with, so I'm not going to swatch them all. But what I am going to do is I'm going to swatch some for you. Um, she did swatch a lot of them. They have lip gloss, lip chubby sticks. Um, they have like a brown smoky eye primer, which is this one. That is fat smoky chubby stick look at that beautiful lemon packaging and as you can see on the back it says black and what it is is it's an actual chubby stick easiest chubby stick to make the smoky sexy smoky eyes best two in one as a primer or a matte black eyeshadow now I don't really do matte black eyeshadow but I picked it up maybe for future giveaways or things like that so I'm not gonna open this one up um, but I did pick up a couple of those I also picked up so many, I had so many things in that bag that the packaging all got smashed up, but it says it has a jumbo bristle brush and it is a dramatic black mascara. And let's check that out. It actually is so chubby and cute. It's really chubby and cute, right? But the packaging is just gorgeous with this like confetti and it, it, and it says that it's prismatic dramatic black mascara. So, no, I'm crazy. It does not say that it's prismatic. It just says that it's dramatic. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, yeah, that... Maybe this will make you look like you have false eyelashes. You know, somebody said that they didn't like this mascara. I can't imagine why. Holy good God. 
that is possibly the best mascara I've ever actually tried on. Um, you know, this mascara is not going to make you look like you have false eyelashes on. That's for sure. But wow, everybody's eyelashes are different though. But I feel like for me, that's pretty good because I mean, I did this eye more than I did the other one. Um, because I really do not have eyelashes. They never really look, you can actually see them. Am I crazy right now? No, I, I think that that's pretty good mascara. Do you guys agree? I mean, it's not like I curled them or anything. Uh, I feel like that, I feel like that works pretty, pretty well. I like to use the separating primer first before I apply mascara because I really, really have very few eyelashes and they clump together, but I, and it's really chubby. I don't know. It feels nice in my hand. This is a nice mascara. I really, I think it's, I think I like it for a dollar. This is better than a lot of the mascaras that I bought at the Dollar Tree that are brand name, to be honest, if I'm going to be honest. And the name of it is called Vanilla Bean, which is also kind of cute because it is shaped like a little bean. It's like really cute packaging. Then I'm seeing this one and it's called Pomegranate Cane. Wow, this is beautiful. And it's a red, a matte red chubby stick. We're gonna check this one out for sure. And look at that, that is seriously beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful color. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I wonder if I can sharpen these on my pencil sharpener from the Dollar Tree because they're a little bit fatter. Hmm, I never thought of that. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go home and test that out because I put the electric pencil sharpener in um, my bathroom to sharpen my makeup like my eye pencils and stuff like that. And then we have the Fat Lips Chubby Stick in creamy matte finish, nude brown. And this packaging is delightful. Oh my gosh, as well. Nude brown, we're gonna check that out as well. These remind me of MAC products. This is gorgeous. That is a be that is the perfect nude color and the packaging looks like MAC. Don't you guys agree that it looks like MAC makeup? It really does. These are beautiful. I picked up I picked up several of each because I just had a feeling they would never they'll ne I feel like I don't know. I just feel like these are like a one and done kind of thing. I feel like you see them today, you'll never see them again. So I did pick up several of each. Uh, did I get, no, this is a different nude. Okay, so this one is Fat Lips Chubby Stick Creamy Matte Finish in Nude and Nude Brown. Let's see the difference. Maybe you guys will be able to tell a difference that will matter. So that is so weird because Nude and Nude Brown are very similar but the one that they're calling nude brown looks more pink to me than the one that they're calling nude. That's nude brown and then that's nude. That's kind of weird, right? Because nude brown is more pink than just nude. Well, it's okay. And last but not least, I did get the Ioni Brow Gel in dark brown and uh, I actually don't usually use brow gel in dark brown. I like to use it in auburn, but sometimes in the colder months when I wear darker eye makeup, I do like to use dark brown. And I love brow gel that has this little, you know, doo -doo -doo -doo, whatever it's called, the little, <laughs> not everything is a doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, like the brow brush. I really like that kind because sometimes if I'm really desperate, I just use brown mascara as eyebrow pencil because I don't really even have eyebrows, as you guys can see. I'm like basically browless, but um, 
Pamela did swatch all of these. I'm not gonna open this one up because I just, my video's probably crazy long, to be honest with you, and I just wanna get through a few more items. So make sure to check out Pamela's video. I'm gonna see if I can link it. Um, I wanna see if I can link the video because she swatched like everything. Then um, I did pick up this Coral Smooches uh, Syrup Kiss, and it's a lip stain, and I didn't swatch it in my um, other haul last night. So I'm going to swatch, oh wow, this lip stain really, really, every time I look at it, it makes me happy. So it's a true lip stain. Like it's a pretty, pretty color and then it really gets sucked into your lip and when you go to wipe it off, your lips have like a beautiful like pink dewy like hue to them. It's just like, it makes you look like a young child in a way, like it makes you look young, youthful. That's the word I wanted to say. Not like a child, but youthful. And I really like it. It just makes your lips a little pink. It's really nice. It's a really, really nice product. It smells really good. It actually even tastes really good. And the color is really, really lovely. It's very youthful and fun to use. Maybe like if you're not doing anything crazy, but you just want to put a little color to your lip. Lip stain is a very cool item, I think. And I did also find this, number 376, Innocent. I'm not gonna swatch it. It was swatched in the previous video in the huge um, little pop-up giveaway that I have going on in my last uh, walkthrough video. But I do wanna share with you guys again so you know that it's out there. It's called Hard Candy Shadow Dancers and it's a liquid to powder eyeshadow. This is an amazing, amazing eyeshadow. Look at those two colors. They're perfect for like your inner corners, highlighting, depending on what you're doing. You're not gonna be disappointed with this. Once you put it on, it doesn't come off. Um, go check out that last video, you guys, if you wanna see it swatched. And um, I think that I'm gonna end the video here, even though I still have so much stuff to share with you guys. But that's it, you guys. That's all I can share today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you who comes here and spends some time with me every time you do. Um, if you do enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Because as soon as we get to 4,000, there's going to be lots of lots of stuff to give away. And I'm almost there. So um, yeah, so please do share the video, help my channel get out there and get more subscribers. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.